energetică din ultimele trei decenii. O criză de suport pentru Republica Moldova. The European Union last year gave the Republic of Moldova rightly so EU candidate status, but we also gave them a list of nine reforms to do, particularly in the area of judiciary fight against corruption. They are now working on these reforms, start negotiations now, but until the moment when they become an EU member state, we have to firstly help them financially um, so that the government can help the vulnerable categories of population overcome the situation with the high energy prices, high inflation, high energy bills, help the country financially, help them reduce energy dependency on Russia. <laughs> We need to consider the sanctions now against these um, oligarchs that are actually not even in the country but outside of uh, Moldova but actively participating in this destabilization from the inside encouraging insurrection almost because that is what's happening people are being paid uh, to go to demonstrations and uh, uh, the active destabilization they have chosen uh, for uh, applying for European membership that's a courageous choice and we now need to show the same courage as their European friends and help them to overcome uh, this situation because otherwise we might be uh, confronted with a situation that we cannot handle.